if I buy a home, for example, and I, let's say I, I put in a monthly rental in there, uh, and, and that renter in my mind is gonna pay my mortgage, and over time I'm gonna build equity or build value in that home, uh, and, and that tenant's gonna pay for that monthly overhead cost that I have for that asset, let's say in a few months or in a couple years that tenant leaves or the building is empty or there's damage to that building well you know with the stock if if you have a problem um, you most likely can't do anything about it uh, because you're not in control of that stock if the ceo of a large company has an affair many times that can have an effect on the actual st stock price but going back to the scenario of the real estate when you have that problem where a tenant leaves etc you're able to um, actually take control of the situation and change the usage of that home. So you just have so much more hands-on control of your investment versus any other type of investment out there.